were scared into believing that if we had democracy, Indonesia would fall apart. Uh, Indonesia did not have the right history and the right culture for democracy. It's just somebody else's uh, uh, you know, political concept. Uh, or if we would be ready for democracy, it would take generations. Let the middle class grow first, and so on and so on. We had a thousand excuses not to embrace democracy. And that was imprinted in our social and political uh, value system in Indonesia. So we were quite comfortable with uh, stability. And came 1997, there was a financial crisis in Indonesia. Our economy shrank by uh, minus 13%. You know, uh, it's, it's quite bad. There were revolts in, in the streets, riots in the streets, looting, and the government lost uh, total legitimacy, and everything crumbled. Right? This is uh, 1997, 1998. Uh, the President Suarto, the second president, uh, he stepped down, uh, and then suddenly we had no choice but to democratize. Right? So we began uh, elections in 1999, 1999 uh, and that was the beginning of our democratic uh, transition. How was it? It was messy. It was very painful. Uh, there was violence uh, in the streets. Uh, there were racial uh, violence uh, as well. Uh, we did not know who was in charge. Uh, there were demonstrations almost every day. Uh, things were uh, experiencing political paralysis. No one could make decisions. Uh, there was a lot of uncertainty. Uh, the same kind of uncertainty that you see among the politi political elites and the people in the Arab Spring countries. We just, there was no map. You know, you just don't know where to go and what decision to make uh, next. Mm -hmm.